G'day, it's uh, Jeff from Hardwood Mills. So we've we've got a GT40 here. We're just doing pre-delivery, so there's a little bit of oil and things on it. So how these work is we have a Honda pump back here um, <clears throat> and uh, and a tank. Um, so we start we start the, the 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 pump up here, and that controls all the hydraulic functions. So we have these are really solidly engineered. So we have the tow board, so that it raises and lowers like so. So say you're on a log, and everyone hates me talking in Imperial, but <clears throat> I will. Uh, say that was, say, 30 inches on one end and 20 on the other. So what you'd do is you'd bring this uh, this end of the log up. It's called tow board compensation saving. So the log, um, so you're not taking a huge wedge out of it. You do that two sides, and you get better grain alignment, better, better material. So that's it. This is our uh, log turner. These are monstrously engineered. They they have to be because of the weight of Australian hardwoods. Uh, this is a clamp here, and this this moves in and out. This is kind of a log turner as well because that the chain turners are great. They're good for logs when you've got bark on them. But once you've say you've taken some clean edges and you want nice and neat sides, you don't really want to be using uh, your chain turner. So what you do, <clears throat> you come under and lift the log, say so in square form, and that way you don't damage the log as much. Now, this machine here, it has two uh, tow boards. Some people fit, fit only one. Um, and this is, an, again, another clamp. This rises up and down. So it's virtually like, if you more think of the, the sawmill like a big workbench, and these are, these are your clamps. Um, these are the hydraulic uh, log loaders, so they're in the retracted area, so they, sit down here and you guys have seen videos they're like a big arm and they lift the log up onto the um to the deck these work independently they're very 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 heavily made um i mean i guess they have to be because of the um uh the uh the force and the the, the weight they're lifting um a little bit uh, a little bit dusty we're just getting it ready so we have removable mud guards here so you just pull them off with a pin um, this is an automatic feeding um, system on it. I think this is the machine that's coming to Seymour. So this has a, um, uh, people love these Honda and motors. This has got a GX690 on it. So they're, they're a pretty de pretty decent engine. People love the, the Hondas. We do do other engines on request. Um, and that's basically it. So that's a, a GD40. Um, this has got a new upgraded ruler system. So this will have a digital scale here as an option. So as you go up, you just see a digital display and it'll say, you know, 10, 20, 30, like that as it goes up and down. Um, this is your lubrication tank. So it's just soapy water, just washing up detergent in there. Um, and that's basically our sawmill. Um, spool valves, very, very, very simple. Let's show you the, so as I said about the power feed. So we run a uh, run a track, uh, a chain. So you can see we just run a chain through through some cogs, and away the machine goes. Uh, this is our fuel tank. So we use just marine fuel tanks. A lot of people, what they do with these, they put a, a quick release in here, and they'll carry um, multiples because you can buy these fuel tanks that'll fit into these brackets virtually anywhere. And um, they'll they'll take a spare fuel tank, one fuel tank out, one fuel tank in. So this is um, this is the, the GT40 Ultra, or what we call the Ultra Cut. So this is um, approximately uh, a metre between the guides. So you can technically cut a metre, but generally because the round shape of the logs, um, you know, uh, unless you had a log that was perfect, but people do cut uh, live edge um, uh, very wide on them. Um, they come with a spare tyre here. Um, and you can see the massive chains. Um, they also have rock and roll, rock and roller suspension. Um, the axles are all made in the Sydney. All the hydraulics are made here. The rams come out of QMN, which are uh, an Australian made company. You can see the Australian made logo and all the steel work here uh, is, is done out of Weverell Park in Sydney. So that's, you can sort of see the Australian made sticker uh, there. We've got to put those on here. So, um, that's it. Very simple controls. You've got your throttle, uh, lift, lift up and down ruler, 
ruler adjustment there. The other thing you have here is um, that I won't do it because the machine's bound into the track. Advance, so you hit this button backwards and forwards. You gotta hold that button. And when you're cutting, <clears throat> you are constantly adjusting this. You're listening for knots and running them. And I, I genuinely find when you've got an automatic feed, you get a lot more uh, cutting time out of it. Um, we have the leveling legs. Um, these are generally, like they're a really a beautiful machine actually. There's a lot's gone into them. They're an Australian machine. Um, so, uh, so that's basically, we even make the, uh, the um, hoses for the machine in house. So we, we crimp them up in ourselves. Um, if anyone's had to buy uh, hoses, they'll know they're outrageously priced. Uh, so we, you have to make them ourselves. But you can see the way this thing's made. The problem when you film these things, they, they don't really look as heavy as they are. So if you want to know what these look like, look at a, a, a decent truck, a decent truck chassis. That's basically the design of what these are. They're just a big, heavy, old-fashioned truck chassis. And they can, they can hold a horrendous amount of weight. And that's it. I'll just pull back and show you. So I'll also just talk about the deck. So the standard deck length on these is eight metres. Um, that's the standard machine. A machine like this is a little bit hard to ex extend. Um, so we just made it eight metres, you know. Now you can extend it. We can put um, fold downs, which there are in other videos, um, on the end. Generally, you don't need to do that on these big boys. Some people do um, uh, because they're so long. Um, but people do put, um, so you can put an additional track length on here and fold down and then that gives the machine that just that little bit more length and it's not that big to tow. Um, and, uh, we, uh, and that's basically it.